On the 6th of April, the Germans invade the Balkans. Squadron leader Patel dives on a formation of BF-109s at the Rupel Pass in Bulgaria. He shoots down two BF-109s. By the end of the month, Patel will also fall. As the remnants of 80 and 33 Squadron take off from Alepsis airfield, a roaming BF-110 attacks. Miraculously, none of the planes are hit and they all take off individually. They have been scrambled in response to reports of 100 plus aircraft attacking Athens. These are the last aircraft of the Royal Air Force in Greece, and they face an overwhelmingly numerically superior enemy. Squadron leader Marmaduke St. John Pat Patel does not take off on this mission, as his aircraft is being refuelled and rearmed from an earlier sortie. The 15 Hurricanes are led by Flying Officer Peter Wickham. Also present is Pilot Officer William Bale, Flight Lieutenant Timber Woods, and future children's author, Pilot Officer Roald Dahl. The RAF's presence over the city is hoped to serve as a morale boost to the people of Athens, as the Germans have quickly overcome all British Commonwealth and Greek resistance by April 1941. JU-88s from 1 LG-1 are reported to be attacking shipping in the Bay of Athens. Greek hospital ship Elenus is sunk by the bombers. The British pilots spot 15 JU-88s and dive to attack. A huge dogfight ensues. Wickham attacks and shoots down a Ju-88. Starrett is hit and killed.
Vail claims a Ju-88, saying, I carried out eight attacks on the Ju-88. One caught fire and started going down, so I left him and attacked another. Flight Sergeant Wintersdorf is shot down, but bails out into the sea. Meanwhile, Sergeant Edward Hewitt dives on six BF 109s, reporting, I dived on the rear one, and he rolled on his back, and crashed to the ground with smoke pouring out. He shoots down two of the Messerschmitts. Some of the pilots return to base to rearm and refuel. By this time, Patel's aircraft is ready, and he takes off with Woods and Woodward just after 1700 hours. He does this despite having a terrible fever with a temperature of 103 degrees. Woodward reports, I took off late with squadron leader Patel. We climbed into a swarm of JU-88s protected by masses of Messerschmitt 110s. We were overwhelmed. Subsequently, I lost contact with him. During the latter stages of the battle, Woods is attacked by a BF-110. Patel observes this and tries to protect Woods, but Woods is killed as Patel shoots down the BF-110 in flames. Simultaneously, Patel is hit by fire from two BF-110s he crashes into the sea. Flight Lieutenant Kettlewell observes Patel crash into the bay. As does Woodward. 